You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from past the FE Exam. If you're preparing for the FE Exam, you know that time management is crucial. That's why understanding how to pace yourself during the exam, especially during the FE Exam break, is essential to finishing strong. With the expert FE Exam tips that I'll share with you in this video, you'll learn how to make the most of your time and avoid common mistakes that can really hurt your score. From strategic breaks to effective time management, we'll cover everything that you need to know to succeed. So if you're ready to master the FE exam break strategy and optimize your performance on exam day, then please watch this video now. And please don't forget to subscribe to pass the FE exam for more valuable tips and insights to help you pass the FE exam. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. There are two sections for the FE exam, the morning section and the afternoon section. Think of it as two separate exams, if you will. There will be 51 to 59 questions in the first half and the remaining total in the second half for a total of 110 problems. Now, you can skip, mark, and change answers in the first half as much as you need to before the break. For example, if you want to skip some problems your first time through and then go back and do the skip problems, you can do that. But the moment that you click end exam at the bottom to take your break, it will ask you to confirm if you're completely done with that section. If you confirm, the exam will be submitted and then you can get up and leave the room. When you come back for the second half, it will automatically be loaded and ready for you to start that part of the exam. You will not be able to go back to the first half and any blanks or flag problems or guesses that you left there are submitted and permanent for that attempt. Now, during your exam, you will be allowed two types of breaks, scheduled and unscheduled. When you have your FE exam scheduled break, you get 25 minutes of free time to do whatever you want to do. Take advantage of those 25 minutes. Look over material, eat something light, relax and breathe. Returning to the testing center with time left on your 25 minute break doesn't do anything for you other than let you begin the second half of the exam a little bit earlier. You do not get to add any unused time from your scheduled break to your overall testing time. Five hours and 20 minutes is what it is. Now, once your scheduled 25 minute break clock expires, the exam clock does start again. Now, during the exam, you may also take as many unscheduled breaks at any point that you want by simply raising your hand. These unscheduled breaks are not timed. However, they also do not stop your exam time clock. Every minute that you spend away from your computer is a minute that you will lose towards completing the exam problems. Now, during the unscheduled breaks, you can hang out at your locker or go to the bathroom inside the testing facility but you are on lockdown behind those walls and you will not be able to leave the facility. Now, let's get back to the scheduled break. For some, the scheduled break may come after question number 53, while for others, it may come after question 56. But generally speaking, your FE exam scheduled break will occur somewhere around the 55 question mark. Whenever your scheduled break happens, you will be met with a pop-up that alerts you that you're at the halfway point of the exam. 
you will then see a list view of all of the questions that you had covered up to that point. Then that doesn't matter whether you've answered them, you've passed them, or you flagged them. They'll all be listed there. You can click on any of those questions to go back and review them. You can edit them, revise them, or just finish them off. When your FE exam break prompt is displayed, you can take the break at whatever point you'd like from there. This means you could take it at 90 minutes or 120 minutes, pretty much whenever you want. It's totally up to you, but just know that you will not be able to go into the second half of the exam until the first set of questions are submitted. That's why it's very important to be strategic around your time management. Once you submit the first set of questions, you can then take your break. But it's important to reiterate and note that you cannot go back to those questions once they are submitted. Now, after your FE exam break is done, it's done. From there, you will go into the second set of questions for the remainder of the time that you have. Now, the second set or the afternoon questions are typically a deeper dive into the engineering discipline specific subjects, civil, mechanical, electrical, etc., depending on which one you select. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below, and I will read and respond to them in future videos, especially on this topic about the breaks. I know it's an important one and there may be more questions. Just put them below. We'll do another video on the same topic. Pass the FE exam. We'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.